Hey guys, Brandon here, and I just wanted to talk about the update last night that came to the R8 revolver. So, um, first of all, a lot of us were moaning about the R8 revolver, how overpowered it was, especially me. And uh, finally, they've actually released an update to the R8 revolver. So last night, when I was asleep, they changed a massive thing for the R8 revolver. So um, they actually took into account that people have been voicing concerns over it, which I think, you know, they need to sort of show that they're taking things in from the community. And yeah, so they say that they've, it's clear that they managed to get the damage wrong and they did respond. So yeah, it's pretty cool they managed to finally bring out an update for it. So what they've done is uh, they've actually reduced his damage and t it now takes longer to fire with the left click. Um, also, some people were saying his accuracy has been decreased, but I don't know how true that is. I'm just going to have to go by this. So his damage has actually dropped quite a bit. It's only 85 now, whereas it used to be between... I think it was 115 and 105, so it's quite a big damage drop, and it makes it a lot less overpowered. It's really a lot more balanced. Um, it does say down here something about um, how there'll probably be more iterations about it and uh, more changes to the gun to make it even more balanced. But it is good to see that the gun is finally more balanced than it was, and to see it's actually usable. And I'm really happy to see that this, uh, you know, revolver can be used now. And a very fortunate thing is, um, you know, that you can use the gun if you want, and you don't have to. And I can now go back to the Deagle, happily, and uh, use the revolver if I feel like it. So it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, um, another thing I wanted to talk about was a big thing that sort of got missed off of a lot of update videos. And that was the rebalancing for the pistols and the rifles. So, with the big update came a few changes uh, to the main assault rifles and to the pistols. So, just going to talk about the pistols first. What they managed to do, um, they increased the move inaccuracy. So, they made the move in a, um, move accuracy lower for pistols. Uh, here it says which pistols. So, Elites, 5.7, Glock, P2000, P250, Tech 9, USP, and CZ. And the only thing they didn't change there is therefore the Deagle and the R8. Well, uh, even though the R8 was just added. But yeah, um, I think this was a, a good a step in the right direction because it is a positive thing about the update. Um, it, you know, the Tech 9 rushes were very overpowered since you could just spray the Tech 9 and get a lot of kills. Uh, same with the USP, the first shot was always really, really like precise, dead on the head, and now it's not. Now you've actually got to stop and you've got to take time to shoot, which I think it increases the skill and it lowers the random chance of an eco round, like winning, which is a really good addition to the game. Um, I actually am quite happy with this one. Uh, the other thing I'm not actually happy about is the recovery time that they changed for the AK-47, the M4, and the M4A1. It's basically it's meant to the recovery time is meant to reduce the amount of uh, a range that you need to spray or you need to tap or burst. So the reasoning behind this that Valve have claimed is that they feel like there should be a big difference between tapping and bursting, uh, tapping and spraying. Sorry. Um, a lot of people have sort of taken into account that they probably just want you to use other rifles since they are all about you using all of the rifles and all of the guns in the game. So it maybe is a way it sort of forcing you to use the SG or the Galil, which is quite an interesting change. Um, for me, it sort of ruined it a little bit for me because the AK-47 I thought was quite a great time, it was quite balanced. Uh, the A1, after its nerf, a lot of people said it's unbalanced, but I think it was pretty good as well. And now that you can't spray at longer range, it's quite annoying. It's quite hard to now spray at longer range because of the uh, recovery time. But, I mean, I guess it'll change eventually. They're still working on the fixes. Um, I think they hear, they do mention how they don't think that it's made any difference yet. But, in my opinion, the, the pistol move was a great move, and the rifle move has sort of caused a lot of hesitation in the community to want to really continue playing with the AK and not switching over to the SG or the AUG so yeah it's quite an interesting change that a lot of people didn't mention and uh, another thing that I didn't see mentioned is that uh, whether competitive match times for the um, full game and for the uh, C4, C4 sorry C3 uh, the C4 being planted they actually are for CSGO majors so that means that they've either had to have a chat of pros or they are forcing it upon pros that they're going to have a uh, longer bomb time but a shorter round time and I think that's also quite a big change that they're trying to make us go with the same as the CSGO Major Championships but yeah that's just some things I thought that were missed off the update the other day and yeah the update today that I think really did fix 
the damage for the RA. It's now no longer overpowered. You can join a competitive match without being destroyed. And you can actually play deathmatch, which is a great thing for me. So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And I hope you leave a like below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to me. And I'll see you at a later date. Thank you very much.